Welcome to Gardening with the Woodpile. I am getting ready to put together my second green stock. So I bought two. Well, actually I got two for presents from my children for Mother's Day and I can't remember the other one. But I bought two of them. I bought the original and the leaf. And you can see the one on top is smaller watched a lot of YouTube videos and they said you could intermix them. So the first I am put down and it is somewhat level because my other one over here isn't quite level. So I intermix them. The leaf one is here on the top. They came with seven and the original came with five. So this one has two and then four and this one will have three of the big and three of the small. So this is the setup stage. I'll try to film throughout. But what I've done is I had the gardening soil I put in my beds was from Snipe Seen Farms Nursery. It was too hard. I had to reset one, two, three, four, five beds. I still have two beds. It's such a big project. I'm waiting for Dylan to get back to help. But I'm doing this one right and not doing straight. Um, Seen Farms, what they say is their garden soil mixture. This is it right here. It's, they say sand, um, gardening soil or topsoil and compost. Super hard. So I'm doing like a Mills McFall little mix, the square foot gardening. And I do a bucket of their soil. I do a bucket of peat moss. And then I do a bucket of, here is vermiculite, right here. Then, just because I have this I, alfalfa pellets, yes, I watch too many YouTube videos, natural organic, organic fertilizer, I intermix with the beds. So I throw a couple handfuls of that in. I'm in the flaw cleanup mode and trying to use up leftover to the bits of things around the garden. So I throw in a handful of this and a handful of earthworm castings. I got this soil. Um, I throw in some of this and lastly, some of my potty mix. So that's what's all in here. And I've gone through and gotten a ton of dirt down my gloves, sifting and stirring this. I will now come over and put this little cap on here, like that, so dirt won't go down and clog it. Fill this with dirt and water, dirt, water, dirt, water, and that will be one layer. And I got six of them. And I know from setting up this one, even these smaller ones, and I call myself a big strong lady, these were hard to lift and I will need to go get my husband and son. So on the very bottom, I'll go back over there, but is a turner. I don't know if I could turn this with one arm. Eey. This whole thing swivels. Let me swivel it on the one that's not so heavy. It swivels. So that way you can turn it because you can see on this one, their backside doesn't always get sun. So I tried to turn it once a day. Um, so it gets different, different sun on it. Then these right here are the supports because on these big bottom ones down here, this is a pepper plant, this is a broccoli, and I wish I would have put this one, the support here, but I didn't. And to move the support, you actually would have to take the whole thing apart. So the supports on the other one, I will put up higher, but and so far, I mean, with small plants, I, it's doing great. I mean, I did have some cabbage worms that I had to come out and pick off, but overall, it does great. You pour water in from up here, um, but I'll try doing that later today, showing you on this one. So I used this little cup, little yogurt container, and I'm at the very end, but I fill up two or three inches, I slightly wetted the dirt in the wheelbarrow, then kind of flattened it out. So 
squeeze up any big chunks. And then I take the garden hose and spray it down. Because it has peat moss that sometimes can be anaphobic, however you say that, where it does not like water, I wet it down in between so I know it's nice and saturated. So my last gardening bed, if you read the instructions, it says to fill right here. It actually will say it right here. Fill to top right here. Fill soil to top. So maybe a little bit more, but I felt like I overfilled mine last time because I don't know if people have filled theirs to the top and then watered it down. Because it also says, do not overpack on the packing instructions um, because it could make this stretch out. So when I feel like, I may go back in and fill in a little bit more. But the next step is, is I take this little cap off. Actually, I'll probably fan it out a little bit. Fan it out a little bit. Not in the instructions. This is Stephanie making it up. Then you take one of these. Let me grab it. Hold on. And then you come over back to your green stock. And you can see these little drainage holes right there. And you want that drainage hole to line up to this pocket. So I'm going to take my little cap off. bit more. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's kind of bright out here today. All right. Now I take this little cap off. I keep it for the next one. And then I, you don't want any dirt in there. Maybe I should have took my glove off. I'll have to clean that out. But you're lining up that hole to that pocket. And as you see, each pocket has a hole. Because as you stack them, It'll go down and fill this reserve in each one. All right, I'm gonna continue on. So I finished filling it up. Oh, I don't know why I'm so zoomed in. <laughs> and you can see these little clips here. And this one's empty. Trying something different this time because I filled this empty one on the ground and then would have to lift it up and like I said, it was hard for me. So I'm gonna try to fill as I go. I'm not sure how well that'll work, but to make sure, see how that's now clipped all the way down? I need to go around and make sure all of them are clipped all the way down before I start filling. Ooh, probably made motion sickness there. Going to get a better camera, but gonna start filling the next one. Gotta put my little cap on. Make sure dirt doesn't go down the hole. All right, time to go to the next one. So I'm starting to put the plant stem on. I forgot, so gotta take one off. It's pretty easy. I clip it in. I go over here to this one. And then you snap it in. You do this all the way around. And one hand, I'm not gonna be able to do it. But let's see here. Right here, you push it in and, and snap it in and clip it in. All right, got the green stock all assembled. I would say it took me a good hour. Because I'm mixing my soils, I go, I didn't just buy soil. And you have to buy a special soil, like a potting mix. And there's so many different kinds. And I have this on hand and I just went with it. So I wet the soil as I went, but you can see the tops are a little dry. And this green stock, I am planting direct seed. That green stock, it was all transplants that I had started at the ranch and brought home. So I wanna make sure that all the pockets are nice and wet before I plant my seeds and it's kind of dirty from planting all the soil. So I'm going to go ahead and water this all down and then I'm going to plant seeds. But why I like this system 
is, let me turn this off. So right here is the water reserve. And all those little gray discs I put in between there is going to water each tier. So how you do this is you come over here, I'll do this one. The water reserve here. I usually go through and pick out any debris so it won't block this hole. And you're supposed to fill it till water comes out the bottom, which takes a while. I've done different methods with the hose and with a bucket. And I did notice if I put this on full blast on the hose, it will fill this whole reserve and then it actually has it came out the bottom, which they say it needs to run out the bottom. So I have to put it on about a medium to make sure I don't overflow. And I don't know if you can hear this. You can hear it gurgling down. So I continue to fill this until it overflows at the bottom. I don't know if you want to wait two minutes or maybe I can cut that out. And I just continue to fill it. Oh, and there it is. Water's coming out the bottom. So, all right, then I go ahead and stop. So then it continues to go down all those gray discs. And remember I lined up each hole. And so the holes are lined up with the planters, plants, and it should water. All right. So I struggled with the placement of this green stock for two reasons. I might do another video on it. See how two plants, green stock, two plants, green stock. Well, I kind of wanted being symmetrical. Then the way down here, it doesn't do that. But then I struggled with, it needed to be on even ground. This was the most even right here at these two, but it was too close to that one for my viewing. I, the spot where I put it was the second most even. And I liked that spot, but the reason why I didn't do it there is because there was so much shade from the tree. And then it blocked my zinnias, which I know the zinnias will die. And then I kind of liked this spot right here, but that was way uneven. That is why I picked that spot for the green stock. Planted in these five days ago. To me, it's just so exciting to watch things come up. Starting to come up in here. Let's see. Nothing in the carrot so far yet. Some over here. I also noticed a green stalk over here. Also, things are coming up in the green stalk. So much fun. I love watching things sprout. Here is the green stalks. I just wanted to follow up on these. They um, are doing quite well. This green stalk, I planted everything by seed. This is some lettuce, some cilantro right here, more lettuce. Herbs down on the bottom are, are bigger, are supposed to be bigger ones, broccoli and cauliflower. And I have had not such great luck with the cauliflower, but I do believe it was my seeds. And I've been having a huge problem with aphids. I do need to get in there and spray down and put some neem oil on them and see if I can get that back under control. But Here's some spinach here, some think, collard greens. Yeah, more aphids there. I need to be doing something about that. And I haven't watered it. I do need to fertilize, but we've had so much rain this last couple of days. I know in Phoenix, but Christmas rain we had a ton of. Over here to this one, everything over here was by transplant well not everything there's a few things I did by seed some more of these little lettuces up here some lettuce mix that didn't come up I would say that would be the only thing is is because you think you could come out here and just water from the top you can see all this rainwater and you'll be good to go but when you plant by seed you actually need to come out and spray the pockets 
to wet them down because it doesn't get them wet enough in the pockets to germinate the seed. But this one was transplanted with a few things of seed and I've got some peppers coming on down here, some little baby peppers. I don't know if it's too much for this, I think this is bee balm, I'm not sure. It's kind of gotten out of control. The chamomile is not doing so well in here. And um, I don't know if it's just not, it's cold or if it's root bound, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure the basil though is just out of season. This was an opal basil and this was a sweet basil and I am just letting that go to seed. But overall, I've been mostly happy with them. I do forget to turn them a lot. Um, but I have, think that there is a good solution to watering these better. Hopefully maybe doing a drip hose up in here when I'm gone, when it's on the timer and it could just go when all my everything else is going. But I haven't quite figured that out. But, oh, garden kitty number two. But thank you for learning and growing with the woodpile where everything is an experiment.